can't have him anymore. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Brett's incredible. <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so are we? It's time to clock in. Wow, I just spit. Did you get the spit when it came out of my mouth? Yeah, maybe. You can probably slow it down and see it. It feels a little weird starting off another episode at Jeff Wittick's Trap House. This one is equally in the hood. The only stores in the area are liquor stores, Metro PCS, and Boost Mobile. This one's big, bro. He must have made some money off his narco trafficking. We're doing nicer things, not bigger things, bigger drugs, more illegal activity, yeah. bigger guns. You can get a little bit closer this time since you kicked the old micron. Do you want to tell the people bro, what it was I like? I had a chest infection and a broken rib. Watch it. I didn't have any variants. All right? What are you, Tommy Fury? You have chest going around right now. Broken ribs. Oh, broken yeah. ribs. <laughs> you find any shawties last night? That was the worst club I've ever been to in my life. Tampa's maybe one of the most ratchet places I've ever been in my entire life. I loved it, personally. I'll show you a little clip of what I can show you from last night. How did the end of the night go for you? <laughs> I'm not saying it on your videos, bro. I'm <laughs> home and I read a book. This is a like huge that. upgrade from last time. Yeah. Look at this. Things really popped off oh, after wow. last night shift. I'm an island boy. Yo, fuck you, George Janko. <laughs> I got beef with the island boys now because of you. Mosquitoes is a big problem out here. Big problem with dealing. Oh, whoa, oh whoa, whoa, shit, whoa. not again, bro. How do you not get kicked out of these Airbnbs? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Look at this shit. We're motherfucking island boys now. <laughs> I'm an island boy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa,
Oh yeah, I can't hear anything now. I'm deaf. We're in Miami for the Jake Paul after party after the huge knockout that you just saw seconds ago. Greg Paul has turned all the way up. It's a clusterfuck of a bunch of people trying to act like they're somebody, and they're all a bunch of nobodies. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. You're, you're literally in the, in the DJ booth. Big fucking deal. You got the same fucking <laughs> Damn. This guy got his clout. <laughs> same broad, yeah, you got the right, same broad right around then. here doing the same thing there, but you're in the DJ booth. <laughs> fucking jerk me off. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, that's where you got it from? No, I don't know about all that. No, I'm paying 100 grand and you don't even get a blowjob in that fucking circle. <laughs> Fuck off. So you're telling me there wasn't cool people backstage at the Led Zeppelin concerts? <laughs> oh, Led Zeppelin concerts for sure. Those were you, fucking you, epic concerts. <laughs> that was you shit. One. You didn't go to a single one. What? You didn't go to a single No, no, we did the parties afterwards. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pony. He's a big this fat. Guy's a big He's a big fat, fat pony. pony. Why do I feel like assaulting you? <laughs> Do it. Do it. No, like, oh, man, you know? Shit, if you're gonna assault me the same way you assaulted Floyd, but bring it. <laughs> like this, like it's ready? <laughs> oh, mother. Oh, man. Oh, you yeah, big, I'm big gummy bear. I love you. <laughs> Let's go. No, he's gonna hurt me. All right, New York City, we're back. Me and David witnessed uh, a bunch of civil unrest at the airport last night. The cell phone video you're looking at was captured by traveler Mike Mazwak. Just a wild scene with people standing just feet away and watching. As he said, one man became upset over a delayed flight to Santa Domingo. When officers arrived and tried to detain him, he refused to go quiet. We're going completely viral right now. I have an interview with Inside Edition. But now we're in New York City. Omicron, Omicron is firing up. People are dropping left and right. We're, we're out here looking for Byron. But there's an even bigger story. Long story short, David has a girl that he's, I guess, his new friend. What's your name? Olivia. Olivia, welcome to the Night Shift. Uh, this is a, a show about cheeseburgers. Tell the Night Shift uh, audience what you just told me. I've never had a burger in my life. And is that for like religious reasons or? Quick editors know, where is David finding these girls? Every time we come to New York City, it's a different fuck. Who the fuck is this girl that's never tried cheeseburgers? I'm from Radnor, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, I thought Pennsylvania, you got good burgers out in PA, I thought too. All right, so anyways, we're looking for a burger spot and you're gonna take a, a bite of your first burger today. You have to. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> we walked two minutes. There's a place called Essex Market right behind us. We saw a sign that said burgers. We walked in the basement of this place, Mighty's burger shop. I think we hit the jackpot. Like as far as just chance, luck is, how do you know? You never even had a cheeseburger before. Uh, this is the Mighty's burger, double patty, onions, and the special sauce. Also, uh, Inside Edition canceled my interview. I was gonna have to rush through this segment because I was gonna go talk to them about the civil unrest at the Miami International Airport. They canceled the interview, they canned it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to be a reporter now. It's a disaster anyways. I don't know any, how to hold it. It's like your first time, right? You're a cheeseburger virgin. <laughs> yeah. Is that, it's weird, right? Uh, what do you think about like how it looks, how it feels in your hands? It looks okay, yeah. Looks good. Mighty's Burger, 115 Delancey, Lower East Side. Oh my god, that thing's dripping. It's good, I like it. I do. I really like it. How would you describe using only two words? Juicy and fresh. It's all meat, which is such a drastic deviation from the burgers we've been eating lately. It's been all those little smash patties, just a lot of onions and a lot of beef. The beef is really good. The sesame seed bun is really, is really soft. If you don't like onions, you ain't gonna like this burger. This burger is basically onions on onions. These are the fries, just a basic uh, straight cut. The fries are really good. Here, try, have you had a french fry before? Yes, yes, of course. You say yes, of course. That's what I would think about a cheeseburger, too. It's not like an obvious thing with you. I don't know what else you haven't tried in life. Um, All right, thanks for that expert opinion. I'm going to keep this one simple. It's what you would expect to get here in New York City. If you're looking for a very, very beefy burger, you're going to find it at Mighty's. It's a good burger. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Mighty's 115 Delancey. I'm going to give it a 7.4, 7.4. You ever had a Mighty's burger? No, I, I was going to go try one, maybe. Is it in here? Do you watch the night shift? Yeah, dude. You do? You see yeah. burger reviews? Yeah. 
Yes. You want to try this burger? What's in it? I'm, I have some allergies. But like, what are you allergic to? Peanuts and shellfish, but. All right, I'm not taking the risk. Yeah, <laughs> Imagine yeah. I kill I my, my first ever night tip viewer video. just dead on you video. Don't want to stab <laughs> me with an <laughs> that would be awesome. That would go viral. <laughs> Dude, good to meet you. Crazy stuff. Appreciate you, bro. Have a good day. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a slower segment than you're used to here on the night shift. Currently laying in bed in my tiny New York hotel room. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be the last video I put out in 2021. But I wanted to take uh the opportunity right now to say thank you. This has been another life-changing year for me. Um, from a content standpoint, from a you know podcasting, YouTube, books, like everything, and it's all. All of it is because of you guys watching this video right now. Every single piece of it. I don't want to. I don't want to take anything on myself. We hustled. We 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 grinded the entire year out. But all of this success and everything that I get to do is because of you guys supporting this program, supporting the night shift, and supporting me. So yeah, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you. I love you guys so much, and you make all this shit possible. And uh, I wish you a merry Christmas, a happy Hanukkah if you're celebrating. Um, and more than anything else, uh, a happy new year and a fresh start to uh, what hopefully will be the best year of your guys and my life. Um, and so with that, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Night Shift. We are clocking out. Peace. I'm happy for you, Mike. You came a long way. You deserve it. Check your bank account. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Are you enjoying tonight's fight so far on the undercard? When do you see yourself fighting again or entering the ring? Yeah. Is it true that you that the Island Boys walked off your podcast? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Logan Paul. <laughs>